Hello everyone, I'm Eric D'Souza, and today we are continuing our series to celebrate the shortlist nominees for the Prime Writers of Canada Awards of Excellence 2022. Joining me today is Thea Porter, whose novel, Beneath Her Skin, has been nominated for the Howard Engel Award for Best Crime Novel Set in Canada. Uh, welcome, CF, and thank you for agreeing to do this interview. Thank you. Um, I've been on your Facebook page doing my research, and I listened to uh, your readings in another interview you gave. Uh, and the female detective character, which you're writing about, it's not quite a unique in the sense that we're all writing about female detective lately. Um, but I did get a feel that there's something different about your hero. Uh, so could you tell us a little bit about Jess Morris? Yeah, I think she's um, <laughs> I think she's a bit of a one of a kind. I kind of like her a lot. She um, she takes no prisoners. She gets completely absorbed in what she's doing, um, often to the detriment of everything else around her. She's um, she's kind of ferocious, and and she's she's thorough. She's a she's a good person, I think. Yeah, uh, uh, she's a good person, but definitely in a dark place so yeah, how, does, how, how does she deal with that like maintaining her goodness around such evil well there's always moral questions of innocence and guilt and whatnot in um in the great tradition of these books and i think she handles it she she gets imbued in it and i think she handles it quite well so that that's i think what i meant by that her yeah, personal I... life maybe not so much <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, because she she tries to really get into the mind of, of the killer, and from what I understand, you have a, a very dark killer. So does this affect her, or is she able to comment? Oh her? yeah, 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 yep. There's there, it affects her greatly. I I <clears throat> I think that the 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 main killer and her are actually quite similar in some ways. Similar, uh, without saying too much. <laughs> <laughs> what are they like drawn to each other somehow? Um, I think they're drawn to each other's um, kind of true basic nature, the animalness of the two of them. I think that's that's the bond that they have. Mm. That that kind of animal purity. <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, I think it does. <laughs> I, I think it's one of those. You don't want to give away too much. So you want to know that, more. You that's why I'm, I'm, I'm pushing and balking. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so you're up for the Howard and Gold Award for Best Novel Set in Canada. But from what I understand, you never specifically say that you're on which province you're in. Um, so could I pick up your story and put it in like Maine? Or could I stick it into you know the west coast of Canada where I live? Or is it distinctly east coast? Oh, I think it's so distinctly East Coast. It's um, from where I am now, it all takes place within 14 miles of here. Um, and instead of naming every street and every place and calling the town what it actually is and the province what it actually is, I still wanted there to be a kind of a, what do I say? Like a, I didn't want to pinpoint it and lock you in, but it's, there's no question where it is. Most people know exactly the town it is, I think. Yeah. Um, but let's say me in the West Coast. Um, but I know, like, never have been, been to Nova Scotia. Would I know that this is Nova Scotia or at least the East Coast? Or would I? I, I think so. I, I think so, yeah. Um, yeah, that's a good, that's a tough question. Because I, if you've never been to a place, can you pinpoint it? No, probably not. <laughs> But it's 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 definitely East Coast, it, it, and it's not just because there's mention of lobsters. I mean, it's, uh, it. I think it's like um, having spent most of my life being a photographer. I draw on those elements of place, mm -hmm. um, and I don't have to put on the title of the image where it's from. I think you get a you get a good gist. Uh, yeah, I could agree with you for that, with that, because I've been to your website on your photography and it's uh, absolutely beautiful. And yeah, you do get a feel of place yeah. without a title being said. Yeah. Um, actually, let's talk about that a little bit, because this seems to be a question I seem to be asking everybody is, how oh. does our background influence our, our writing? Um, so your background, 
uh, is in film and photography. Yes. Um, yes. Give you kudos where it deserves. I, I saw that you worked on Brookback Mountain with Ang Lee. Uh, beautiful production. So if yeah. you're a part of that visuals, that's, that's absolutely amazing. So how did the visual aspect of your life work its way into that verbal or the, the written work? Um, well, in every movie you watch starts with a script, doesn't it? So we, we have to read the script and make it visual. And that, that was my job in essence, but I, I got, um, I got MS, so I can't run around the film set anymore. I can't handle it. I can't do it. I don't have the strength. Mm -hmm. So I, I took that time plus the COVID lockdown to ensconce myself in this and see if I could actually do it. It's something I've always wanted to do to write a book, so I I, I let it rip and and here we are. So I'm I'm happy that I did that. Excellent. Um, saying that, and, uh, you know, COVID's almost over. I'm hoping there's going to be more books. <laughs> is, is this the beginning of a series? Yeah, I um, I think there just might be. I I think Kess is still alive somewhere behind your head in my computer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she hasn't um, disappeared yet. She's she's very um she's very present. Yeah. Yeah. So there's still stories in your head working their yeah working their way out. <laughs> Just haven't right. figured everything yeah. out yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was wondering though, um, being from the film industry, while writing it, did you think like that this is going to break a great screenplay? Like <laughs> you, as you were writing it, even though you're not writing a screenplay, were you thinking like, yeah, I can see the visuals, I can see the shot, I can see how they would do this. I'm making, yeah, it easy. I'm making it easy for Hollywood here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think um, I don't think you can just uh, dismiss uh, where you grew up. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, the, the 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 work that you've done. So, yeah. I, I, and I tried to make the book, the pages as visual as I could. Um, and hopefully a little bit of smell as well, rather than just words. Uh, yeah, I think it would make a, a lovely short story <laughs> film, film, maybe, yeah, or a series or something. I don't know. Um, that's someone else's choice. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, as I said, uh, I visited your Facebook page. So thank you very much for doing this interview because I, I, I see that it's very rare that you show your face in public. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I read somewhere that you're quite a reclusive writer. So yeah. Uh, as I was doing my research, I found that to be true. <laughs> yeah. So thank you very much, Sia, for uh, participating today, and uh, good luck on the awards on um, May 26th. Nice to meet you. Thanks very much. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Okay. Good night, everyone.